Today in our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup, we'll be installing the seven and four pole Hopkins adapter, part number 37185. Our first step will be to remove the current six pole and bracket. Because of the extensive corrosion of the hardware, we'll need to drill out the fasteners. We'll go ahead and drill them out, break off the heads of the bolts and remove the bracket. Next, we'll go ahead and take a pair of side cutters and cut off the wires. This will then essentially remove the bracket and six pole. Now we'll go ahead and take a utility knife and strip back the electrical tape and expose the wires. For this application, our white wire is the ground wire. Light blue 10 gauge wire is the power feed coming from the brake controller. The black wire will be our running lights. Dark green wire will be the right turn signal. Dark blue wire will be the left turn signal and the smaller gauge light blue wire will be for the reverse lights. We'll be matching these with the wires coming out of the back of our seven pole. Let's go ahead and start by attaching the new seven pole bracket to the seven pole using the hardware supplied with our install kit. Next, we'll go ahead and mount the seven pole and bracket to the hitch. We'll take the purple wire and connect it to the light blue wire for our reverse lights. We'll take the brown wire and attach it to the black wire for our running light circuit. Then we'll take the light green wire and attach it to the dark green wire for our right turn signal. Next, we'll take the yellow wire and attach it to the dark blue wire, which will be the left turn signal. The next connection will be from our brake controller to the light blue 10 gauge coming from our seven pole connector. Then we'll take the white wire, cut the length, strip it back, attach it to the ground wire already on the vehicle side. This will be white to white. Our remaining wire will be the black hot lead going to our seven pole connector. To make this connection, we'll strip back the black power lead and attach it to the black power wire coming up from the seven pole connector with the pre-attached butt connector. We'll go ahead and take some black electrical tape and wrap up our wires. This will help to keep out dirt, dust, debris, and moisture from our connections and help to clean up our install look. Now we'll go ahead and start routing our black power wire to the engine compartment and along the way use some black zip ties to secure our wiring. When routing your wires to stay away from excessive heat such as exhaust or moving components such as steering or suspension. Note in areas that you can't access it may be necessary to use a pull wire. This can be a stiff piece of wire or in this case we're using a piece of air tubing to assist us in routing our wire. Now with the wire routed into our engine compartment and secured underneath, we'll go ahead and strip it back and attach the yellow ring terminal. Using self-tapping screws, we can go ahead and mount the breaker here next to the brake controller hot lead circuit. Now with our breaker mounted, we'll go ahead and attach the ring terminal to the silver side as the copper side will lead to the battery. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the cover from the fuse box. Here, we can attach to a battery power. So let's go ahead and take the excess cutoff from our hot lead and use it to route and cut the length necessary to run from the breaker to the positive battery post. Now we'll cut the length, we'll go ahead and strip it back, adding a small ring terminal to the breaker side and a larger ring terminal to the battery post side. Then we'll go ahead and attach it to the breaker and secure it. And then we'll go ahead and remove the stud from the post and attach the ring terminal to the fuse box side. Then we'll go ahead and place the fuse box cover back in its position and that'll complete the install of the Hopkins 7 and 4 pole adapter, part number 37185 on our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup.